Yo! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Protect Sports. Your boy, Tone. Back with another video today. And today, oh, I got you some crow again, bro. I got you some fucking crow again. Excuse my French. I got you some crow again, bro. I might have moved this angle. I'm tired of this bed, bro. I right, some crow, bro. No cap. Your boy Tone. Gotta eat some crow. I right, really yeah, Tone gotta eat crow. Why you keep Tone gotta eat crow, bro? What's going on, bro? Look, man. Look, man. I was wrong. Again. I'm tired of being wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong too often, all right, when it comes when it comes to football. But I'm wrong again. It really pisses me off. I'm not saying I was wrong. I, I underestimated a certain team. And it was because of health. I was wrong about San Francisco 49ers. I think going into the season, I think I had them at 8-8. Eight and eight. Wrong! <laughs> These boys ball! They going crazy! You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially that run game. Let me get to the 49ers. This is why I had my 8-8 beginning of the season, okay? It's one reason and one reason only. Jimmy Garoppolo's health. This mother can't stay healthy, okay? This mother lover cannot stay healthy for damn. And I was like, all right, you know what? I can't trust him to stay healthy. So I'm going to pick them win 10 games. He get hurt, says ACL, and I'm screwed. He tells Achilles, I'm screwed. I'm wrong. Again. So I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm just going to go 8-8. I'm going to just take the safe approach. I'm not I'm not going to go out on a limb. I thought, I, oh, I'm wrong about another team in this division. Matter of fact, I'm going to get to that one after this. So this is a two-part video. I'm going to tell you why I'm wrong about the 49ers. I'm going to tell you why I'm wrong about another team in this division. Let's get into it. But um, So all right, back to the 49ers at hand. So that's why I ain't really trust the 49ers, okay? 49ers right now 10-2. So my eight and eight has been blown out the water. They ain't going nowhere close to eight and eight. They going close to four, eight, two, and eight and eight. Okay. So, what was I right about the 49ers? This pass rush. I knew this pass rush was gonna go nuts. Bosa, Buckner, uh, Eric Armstead, Solomon Thomas, going nuts. Get to the quarterback, going nuts, going crazy. They want all smoke. They want to get through the quarterback. They want to smack him in the face. They ain't playing no games with nobody, bro. This pass rush is ridiculous. I forgot about D4, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. This pass rush is ridiculous. I was completely right about that. Now, what was I wrong about? This offense. I thought they'd be more pass happy than they are. They are running down people's throat. I don't care if Matt Preda. I don't care if it's Sean Mostert. I don't care who it is. It's Tevin Coleman, the secret weapon, Jared McKinnon. Don't tell nobody. Shout out to Louis T. Don't tell nobody about no, don't tell nobody about Jared McKinnon now. Don't tell nobody. He ain't been playing. They still run over. They still run about down people's throats. They want all smoke. They the trenches want all smoke with everyone's trenches, bro. They run down your throat and it gets to your quarterback. This is why they've been winning games and whooping niggas' ass because they run the ball. They stop the run, and they get to your QB. And whoo, goodness gracious, it's a beautiful sight to see. See the round just there? Yes, I. So, I, I was right about the pass rush, but I did not know this run game was going to be this good. I thought it would be good. Not this good. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and then the fact they acquired Emmanuel Sanders at the trade deadline makes their passing game even better. And give Jimmy Garoppolo another target. He's really relying on outside George Kittle. That is so huge, bro. They're Super Bowl contenders. I was completely wrong about these guys. Um, I know a lot of people are wrong about the 49ers, but I knew they had a potential. I just didn't trust them to reach his potential so quickly. And this is insane. Shout out to Kyle Shanahan for getting these guys ready to go every single week. Shout out to the defensive line for smacking offense lines around and get to the pose of quarterback. Shout out to the run game for running down people's throats by running back by committee. And shout out to Jimmy Garoppolo for staying healthy. This team is incredible. They're definitely Super Bowl contenders, and I really think they will at least reach the conference championship game. Um, 
probably will reach a conference championship game. But as you saw in my Super Bowl predictions, I bet they won't because they run to a certain team. The only team that can they can run into and get their butt whooped. And yeah, they're gonna run to that team. That's the only reason I think they will not make the championship game. At least. Let's get the team I was wrong. Another team I was wrong about. But this one's a bad way. The Los Angeles Rams. I have going 10 6 before the season started. I had them team tied with the Seahawks for the division crown and then breaking the tiebreaker because they will swept the Seahawks. I was wrong. This team is fucking inconsistent as hell. This team is ridiculous. They start free up. They go lay an egg at home against Tampa and let them put 55 on a noggin. 55. What the? <laughs> oh, what they doing over there? Maybe I fix that. That is ridiculous. That is trash. Get that sh out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. These suck. These suck. Well, they sucked week four. And then, and then, who, who gave y'all the right to go get your ass whooped at home by Baltimore? Who thought that was cool? Who thought that was cool? That was not cool. That's a no no. When you do when you when you get your ass whooped like that, you don't you do not deserve to go to the playoffs. You deserve to sit at home. They gonna be sitting at home. I ain't have them sitting at home, but they will be sitting at home. Okay? This is ridiculous. They got their ass whooped by Tampa. Baltimore went in there and smacked them around and and, and dragged like some rag dolls. What else happened? San Francisco came in there and went crazy. And Jerry Goff threw for less than 100 yards. Um, number game they did absolutely horrible. I can't think of a game they actually played horrible in. But those three definitely stick out. That, that That's absolute trash. Um, they went on a three-game losing streak after starting 3-0. Like, you just, you just can't do this, man. They're the Dallas Cowboys the NFC West. They, they overrated as hell and don't do enough. Like given Brian Cook's been hurt and Todd Gurley ain't the same. And Jared Goff didn't deserve that big-ass contract. He did not like the quarterback that he was last year. Um, Sean McVay like starting to get figured out a little bit, but I think Sean's going to adjust. Sean's a damn good coach, so I think he's going to adjust. But as of right now, he's starting to get figured out a little bit. Um, defensively, losing Sue is huge. Um, they traded the Kings Ransom with Jalen Ramsey after being four and three, going to uh, what was it week nine? That hasn't changed much. Sorry, Jalen, you haven't changed much, bro. They've been four and three without you. And ran two cents. Not a big difference. He's still in the game 500 with him. No foul. Him. Just saying, Jalen. Sorry. Don't, I'm just a messenger, bro. Just a messenger. Sorry. He ain't proved that much for Jalen Ramsey. Not yet. All right, it's just not yet. Um, as for the guy you traded away, Marcus Pierce. Nuts. Pick sixes and all. Going crazy. Over there in Baltimore. Going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely wrong by these two NFC West teams. The 49ers has been playing extremely great football. I'm very impressed with them. The only team that can stand in their way is another team in the division. I'm talking about the Seattle Seahawks. As for the Rams, the Rams have disappointed me. There's a definitely are a Super Bowl hangover. They're not the same football team. Jared Goff is like a ghost. Like the ghost of Jared Goff. The golf fence, as Louis T would say, does not exist. The golf fence is dead. There's no golf fence. There's no offense. It's just fence. Because they can't score for damn. <laughs> and do not get me started on that defense without D uh, Dominican Sue. And you just add Jalen Ramsey in there. And you think, you think you fixed everything. You think you fixed everything? No. You're not a great football team. You're going to be sitting at home watching the damn playoffs. Now, if you're the NFC East, you'll be good money. <laughs> but you're not in the NFC East. You are in the NFC West. This is the tough division. You're sitting at home, and you'll be still sitting at home. Sorry, Rams fans. Not going to the postseason. Don't blame Tony. Don't blame Tones. Tone, Tone's just a messenger. I'm just telling you. So, that's my quick synopsis, Tone East Crow Part 2. Um, wrong about the 49ers. Wrong. I was wrong about the Rams. 
wrong, wrong, wrong. Rams are terrible. He fixed that crap. It, uh, the Rams irk me. I love Sean McVay. But damn Rams. Uh, get on my damn nerves. All right. Sorry for cursing. That will wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoy um, my rambling. <laughs> and um, me being wrong. Um, comment, about, comment down below if you watched my videos earlier um, in the YouTube journey. Earlier this off season, going into the season, and let me know some other things I was wrong about. I, I have some things I'm still wrong about. I'm not gonna the NFC East business on the next Tony X Crow of T E C episode three NFC East. So that will do it for now. View and comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications so you always get the protect sports video, and also put God first out the way. And always remember, man, I've been most athletic. Like these, but you're, as long as you're always professional and always technical, you will always come out on top. Fundamentals first. I took it easy. Peace, guys. Enjoy the video, guys.